Hey guys, Platform Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hologram in Final Cut. So, from what you guys saw in the opening sequence, I'm gonna, you guys are going to want to open up Final Cut. I'm already here, so I already have this going up. So let's go ahead, drag our, drag our selected video. All right, let's go ahead and increase that. So that's about 20 seconds or so. Let's go ahead, mute this. And we're gonna go ahead and look. So I went ahead and downloaded this picture of a white triangle and a black background. All you guys need to do is just go ahead and click in a white triangle. So you're gonna go ahead, drag that into there. So we're gonna go ahead, extend this all the way out and then extend it all the way in. And then you guys are gonna go ahead and click this these little slide bars. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down, click lighten, and then from here, you're gonna go ahead, click transform, you're gonna transform it, and you're gonna flip it all the way upside down. So that should be good right about there. And then continue to transform it wherever you want, wherever you need it to be. So you're gonna to wanna to put it right on top of the little light source right there. And for right now, we're gonna close this back up and then close this here too. So I'm gonna go in and let's just look for, for some video that we could use. Um, let me see, let me see, let me, let me see. I can already hear my computer already starting up with the the fans processing so I guess it's time to take out my secondary mic which is my iPod if you use voice memos it works really really well so let's go ahead and look for for a video um, let's go ahead and just get the radiant defense what I use for gaming on my other channel let's go ahead and put that there slide all the way over there actually I'm just gonna make this a lot shorter and minimize minimization is key go ahead and move this mic a little closer push my computer back a little bit more and then increase the size once more and that should be good so we're gonna go ahead click this and minimize that one more time and we're gonna put this into place with the triangle. So you want to get it just about to where the triangle is and if you want it if you if that's as big as you want it then you can go ahead and widen this out just about there. So that's good. Go ahead and that's right. Crop it and then we're going to just trim it down. Go ahead and trim and then trim again. And so you just wanna trim it all the way down so that when we add our effects to it, it's not causing us any problems. Go ahead, and click done. So we're gonna go ahead, slide back. So you can kinda of see that this is looking really, really weird. So we're gonna hop over here, open up our effects, and you're gonna go in type up bad TV. Bad TV is already right here. So we're gonna go ahead, add that there, and add bad TV there. So, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna click the little lines once more. Go ahead, scroll all the way down. And for this, we're gonna go ahead and click the occupancy a little lower so that it gives that see-through look because you know holograms are somewhat see-through. So you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the white triangle. I do it until like you really can't see the grain upon here. I don't like to lower it that much around there. So then I go back to all and click the little X and then like to search up a frame, no frame, um, one more second till I find the frame. 
Yeah, hey, I did click frame. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and click frame, drag it onto there. And I like to use the the 35 millimeter just because it looks a little bit more vintage in a sort of way. So go ahead, bump up back up that occupancy a little bit. Let's change the dimensions around. It's gonna shrink down your video just by a little bit. Go ahead, drag that onto there. Squeeze it down. And voila! You have your own little holograph there in Final Cut. So, I hope this was really helpful. Oh, another thing that I like to do along with it is the, where is it? Transitions, and then mask. The mask, I, it works sometimes for some occasions, but not for all, but I like it here. Let's go ahead and check that out, see? It gives, the, gives you that kind of appearance of, hey, I'm getting a call, let's just put this back on. So that's what it's looking like right now, and it turned out really, really well. So if you guys ever need like anything for Final Cut, I'll be uploading this kind of stuff right about now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been Platform Tech, and I'll catch you guys later.